Okay, if you remember in the last video, we set up a port number for our camera so we can access it from the outside world. And I used 132. I could not use that number. I had to change it to 31. So I went into my camera again and I changed my port number. Hopefully you don't have that issue. Um, but I found out when I went into my router and when I actually tried to put in the port number and save it, it told me check my settings or something so it wouldn't work so you go into your router and you set up port forwarding might be under an advanced tab um, give it a name select both put in your IP address don't worry about IPv6 you're not using it starting port end port should be the same that's your one port and you save it okay now when you go into a web browser on the internet you should be able to type in your home IP address and you can find that by just typing in what's my IP okay and I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want anybody to see what my IP is and then you get your IP address and you're going to hit the the commercial um, at symbol which is above the semicolon so you hold down shift and semicolon and you'll get that commercial at symbol which is the two dots and then your port number and then you'll be able to access your camera from the outside world now there is another piece of software that's IP IP camera viewer or something I don't know if it's one word um, no doesn't look like it is it's separate okay so IP cam viewer uh, let's see okay so this software is also on Android okay so you could use this for an Android phone and I think there's even one for the iPhone okay so you're just gonna look up IP cam viewer get the the free version on any device let's run this program quick Okay, so here's a here's a software. So this would help us view the camera, so we don't have to type in the IP address, log in, all that good stuff. So let's just add a camera, and we're gonna say it's an IP camera. The brand, believe it or not, I know it said iCamera, and there might be boy, I don't know what's going on here. Um, so let's look for iCamera. Yeah, I don't see it. So the other option is uh, Circom. I believe that's the actual maker of the camera, Circom. Model, um, I don't think it matters, but let's do the RC. Address of the camera. Okay, now we're using this at home right now. So we're going to put in the home address because this 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 app is um, this program is on my home computer so 10.0.0.32 port number 131 because we changed it cameras um, username password and we did admin I think it was and password and frame rate let's do live and I'll test camera and it, it did not go let's try taking out the port number nope okay got it to work um, so it did not pull up under circom it actually the brand was eye control um, a, another option for it I think they just rebrand these cameras different names and stuff I think there's a few out there actually but they're all the same so eye control worked and then model eye or eye camera 1000 okay 
and there's my IP address, my port number, I put admin and password in there, uh, live video feed, and test camera. And it worked. So we'll click OK. So there's our video feed. Now if I close this program out, um, I re tried downloading it for major geeks here. That didn't make a difference. So I thought it was a program, but it was actually the make and model. So now if I click on this program, this will open up my camera automatically. Now if I add more cameras, I can do up to four cameras with this free software. So I could add three more cameras and I could have this running on my computer. Um, there's other things you can try. I use a program called Blue Iris and it runs all my cameras. Um, most of my cameras are uh, made by Foscam, so a different make. Um, and that's, that's about it. So if you were to use the app off your phone, you're going to basically do the same thing, but you're going to use the IP address of the outside world. So you need to say in your web browser, what's my IP address? Get that IP address and put that into the system, put in your port number, and it should connect with no problem. All right, hopefully that helps. See ya.